Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation x power 1 over 2 minus x power 1 over 3 divided by 4 equals to 1. And eventually, we are going to check our solutions as well. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's focus on this numerator part. We are going to manipulate this one. And here I have copied it down. And let's go ahead and scan these exponents. And let's focus on these denominators 2 and 3. And we know that the least common denominator, or sometimes we call it least common multiple of these two numbers, 2 and 3, is going to be 6. So therefore, we are going to make these denominators same as 6. So therefore, 1 over 2 could be written as 3 divided by 6. Likewise, 1 over 3 could be written as 2 divided by 6. So therefore, we can write this thing x power 3 divided by 6 minus x 2 by 6. And we can see we have the same common denominator 6. Now let's recall this power rule of exponents. So this our expression is going to become simply x power 1 over 6 whole power 3 minus likewise this is going to become x power 1 over 6 whole power 2. So therefore I am going to replace whole this numerator part by this one. So now our this original equation is going to look like x power 1 over 6 whole power 3 minus x power 1 over 6 power 2 divided by 4 equals to 1. And now we can see x power 1 over 6 and x power 1 over 6, they are same. So let me go ahead and call them u. Therefore, we are going to make a substitution. Let me go ahead and call u equal to x power 1 over 6. Then our this equation is going to become u power 3 minus u square. Everything is divided by 4 equals to 1. Let me go ahead and multiply both sides by 4 to remove this fraction. And we can see this 4 and 4, they cancel each other out. So on the left hand side, we are ended up with the u power 3 minus u square equals to 4. Let me go ahead and move this 4 on the left hand side. And now we can see this is our cubic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. So therefore, let's focus on this part, uh, negative u square. We are going to tweak this one. This could be written as uh, negative 2u square plus uh, 1u square. So therefore, I can write u cube minus 2u square plus 1u square minus 4 equal to 0. And now we can see that there's a u square in common between these first two terms. So therefore, let's go ahead and factor out u square. So we ended up with u minus 2. And then I'm going to write down this part as u square minus 4 equal to 0. And now let's recall this famous identity a square minus b square could be written as a minus b times a plus b. We are going to apply on this part. So this could be written as u minus 2 times u plus 2. So therefore we can write this thing as u square times u minus 2 plus this could be written as u minus 2 times u plus 2 equals to 0. And now we can see that u minus 2 and u minus 2, they are in common. So therefore, we can factor out u minus 2 outside. And we are ended up with the u square 
plus u plus 2 equals to 0. Now let's go ahead and separate these factors. I can write u minus 2 equal to 0 and the other one is u square plus u plus 2 equal to 0 as well. Now let's focus on this very first equation. So that is going to give us u equals to 2 value. And now let's focus on this quadratic equation u square plus u plus 2 equal to 0. And now let's recall the discriminant. Discriminant is always equal to b square minus 4ac. And in our case a equals to 1 since the coefficient is 1 over here b equals to 1 as well because this number 1 and c equals to 2. Now let's go ahead and calculate this discriminant b square minus 4ac by filling in the blanks. So b in our case is 1 square minus 4 times a is 1 c equals to 2. That's going to give us 1 minus 8 which is same as negative 7 which is less than 0. Now let's recall this discriminant table and we know that our discriminant is negative 7, a negative number. As long as our discriminant is negative, we have no real solutions. So therefore no real solutions for this quadratic equation. So therefore we are going to reject this scenario and we are going to accept this u equals to 2 value. And here's our final step. We have a u equals to 2 value, but we know our u equals to x power 1 over 6. I am going to replace this one. So I'm going to write down x power 1 over 6 equals to 2. Now let's go ahead and take a power 6 on both sides and this 6 as well and we can see that this 6 and 1 over 6 they reduce each other so we got simply x equal to 2 power 6 which is equal to 64. Now let's go ahead and check our solution at x equal to 64 which is same as 2 power 6 by plugging in the value for x in this equation and see if the left hand side is same as the right hand side. And here are the steps. I have checked the solution and it turns out to be a true statement. Left hand side is equal to indeed right hand side. So thus our solution turns out to be 64. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.